because the siding is not on this end but I did want to walk around and let you see what the house looked like from the front and the back okay so this is the back of the house the uh, side we just passed it looked like it had a window so once the siding is up there'll be a large window on that side that we've already passed um, but this is the back of this Fleetwood home That's the back there. And then you've got this side over here. I don't see any windows on this end. So this will just be siding, okay? But this is a Fleetwood three bedroom, two bath home. So let's go on in and see what it looks like. Sorry for the noise, we're right here off of the highway. family just a quick disclaimer before we finish this tour i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home i record these videos because i love touring the homes and i share my personal opinion of the homes that i view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specifications all the information i have will be in the description box below now let's get get back to the video All right, we'll go ahead and shut the door so you can see. All right, I'm gonna walk into the dining room and let you see the living room. So this is the living room. This is a nice size living room, huge window. You've got ceiling fan in here. This is finished drywall. So uh, really nice, it doesn't have the seams. I love how they mixed this uh, panel here with the drywall and it carries throughout. You can see it above and below the window and then it tr it trims all the way around. So really nice, almost gives it kind of a ship lacky look, but not. But this is the living room. I know that wasn't a word. <laughs> Just wanted to kind of describe it. So this is the living room. Nice size living room. I'll pan the floor to give you an idea of how big it is. And from the living room, you look over into the kitchen. So this dining room has the same look, the light colored walls with the trim, the white trim. Love these huge windows. You got lots of space in your dining room. The chandelier isn't up yet, but you have a chandelier over the dining room table. And then coming on into the kitchen, love the uh, octagonish, hexagonish shape of the island. Really nice. The island has two levels to it. So you have this level up here and then this level right here. Really nice. You have open shelving in the island which is a great place for your appliances or uh, pantry like items or uh, just whatever you like honestly up under there so really nice you've got outlets in that island really nice i love the look it overlooks the kitchen as well as the dining room and i will put a seat here here and here really nice on around to the kitchen, you've got that wood look uh, throughout the kitchen walls. You've got dark cabinets, black appliances, a built-in microwave. Got a nice size refrigerator in this one. 
shelving above the refrigerator and you've got your pantry here now this has a farmhouse type look but you could get a plain door if you're not the farmhouse person really deep pantry nice missing some shelving around i would put shelving on this wall as well um just to maximize the space but then i could see this being good for storage also so it's really up to you and what your needs are but you have a really nice sized pantry in here and that big rectangular box right there that is um your hot water heater all right so that's your pantry door i'll step back again and pan the kitchen so that's your kitchen and then off the kitchen is the utility room your washer and dryer goes there straight ahead you've got your back door here and then you've got this space this cubby hole for a desk or a deep freezer or whatever you need it to be shelving whatever you need it to be that door is the ac so really nice love it love it love it okay back into the living room to the left of the living room you have your guest bedroom so you have one guest bedroom here right off the living room nice size guest bedroom this room is huge this is a big room i almost thought it was the master it has a standard closet but this is a really nice size room. Really nice. So that's guest bedroom number one. Drywall, the finished drywall fit goes throughout. And then around this corner is your second guest bedroom and your bathroom. So this back room. Oh, it did have a window. Oh, that's the window I said I saw. All right, so this is an additional guest bedroom. That's your window right there, but the paneling isn't up, so that's why you can't see out of it. Standard closet there. I'm trying to hurry, you guys. I got one line left in the battery. All right, so that's your second guest bedroom. And then your guest bathroom is here. Trying to turn where you can see it, you guys. Love the wallpaper in there. It, the camera doesn't know justice. It just looks like a dirty wall, but it's no light. But the wallpaper is really pretty and it's a standard bedroom, bathroom. Really nice. All right, so now on the other side of the house, that's the front door. So to when you come in to the right, this is your master bedroom, okay? So you got your master bedroom over here, double windows in here. Nice size master bedroom. I'll go on this side and let you see. Master bedroom and you got a master closet over there. It's dark, but I'll let you see as much as I can. So you got closet that way, closet that way. Not the biggest closet, but we make it do. If this is what'll fit your needs, then this is the house you pick really nice all right and then over here we've got the master uh, bathroom so you got two sinks and a makeup area here you've got your three mirrors you got your soaker tub there with the frosted window above the soaker tub you've got a window that opens above the toilet. You've got space in this corner for whatever you need, shelving or whatever. This is the wallpaper. Love it. And then you've got a shower. They, they haven't put the glass up yet. It's got a regular shower head, but you can put a rain shower if you like, and then you got seating in here. 
Really pretty. All right. Love it. All right, again, this is a three bedroom, two bath Fleetwood home. Excuse me, Scott built. This is a Scott built home. 28 by 56 is three bedrooms, two bathrooms. If you're interested in pricing, if I don't have it, uh, if I do have it, it'll be above. Uh, it'll be here on the screen. If I don't, the dealer and manufacturer information will be in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Hi family, one more disclaimer. The decor pics associated with this video are of the Grand Slam. This home is actually the legend. The only difference between the two homes is that where the refrigerator is in this home, in the Grand Slam, it's the sink. And where the sink is in this home, it's the refrigerator. The legend, which is this home tour, also has a pantry and the Grand Slam does not. Other than that, and the fact that the Grand Slam has a bigger shower, this is the exact same home. So I wanted to give you an idea of what the home would look like with decor. Hope you enjoy the video. the room it's kind of crowded here but i know you see me too everybody's singing oh everybody's singing oh i don't know what it is about you it must be in the way you move just say you want me to we've got nothing to lose you're looking so old you're looking so old Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I'll take you anywhere you want 